I'm Haley Beeth with your weekly market commentary on this Monday, September 16th, 2019. The USDA weekly crop progress report came out today showing corn conditions staying stagnant at 55% good to excellent. Soybean conditions dropped 1% to 54% after staying at 55% for the past four weeks. We also got a first look at the USDA's reported corn harvest progress with 4% completed versus the 7% average. Overall, both conditions and crop progress remain well behind the five-year averages. China announced it would exempt U.S. pork, soybeans, and other products from additional tariffs. The country has also purchased at least 600,000 metric tons of U.S. soybeans. President Trump delayed a 5% tariff increase on $250 billion worth of Chinese goods originally scheduled for October 1st to take effect October 15th. Trump said he would prefer a comprehensive trade deal with China, but would not rule out the possibility of an interim deal. This is all ahead of the expected October trade talks between the two countries. Last week's USDA September crop production report was relatively tame compared to the much more volatile reports we've seen this year. The report was neutral for corn fundamentals, with the USDA lowering yields by 1.3 bushels per acre. A cut of that size was not enough to significantly rally prices. Soybeans saw a slightly bullish revision with U.S. supply cuts and a boost in demand driving down heavy stocks. That's your weekly market commentary. Follow back up with us on Monday for next week's opening market analysis. Have a great start to your week. If you haven't downloaded our mobile app, go to your app store or Google Play and search for the Tyson LGS mobile app where you can sell and manage your grain anytime, anywhere.